welcome back to another project. Today I'm going to start up my uh, homemade sun trackers. I built these uh, some years ago before I expanded my solar plant into this launch system. And uh, the reason why I'm going to start up this again is that I have this uh, windmill you can see up there. And it's not working that well. And uh, my plan is to connect it to the same uh, inverter because uh, that uh, Windmill inverter is uh, also hand can handle also some solar panels, so that's the plan today. These are the panels; they are monocrystalline, and I will put uh, three of them into my sun tracker device. This is my uh, setup for today. I'm not using the batteries. My plan was to use the windmill to charge uh, the battery, and then I use this uh, big MPP solar converter to send the battery power out through the load port here but uh, the windmill doesn't produce that much power so I can't charge the batteries uh, so that's why I'm going to use my sun, one of the sun trackers and connect the three panels to that one and here is the inverter for the windmill and uh, you can see here it's a uh, 2 kilowatt power for the windmill, wind turbine power and also 600 watts from solar. Uh, I'm gonna put these monocrystalline solar panels, they are 280 each, but I don't think it would be a problem. I'm uh, drawing new wires for the solar setup, and I'm using uh, 6 square millimeters uh, double isolated uh, wire specialized for uh, solar panels. And uh, lucky me, I have a, a tube in the ground before, so I'm just gonna pull this uh, with a 12 volt uh, supply for the solar tracker. Now I got the wires in the hose and now I'm gonna start fitting the solar panels. Now I have the panels in place, uh, it's uh, fixed with uh, 4 M8 bolts and uh, now I'm gonna put on these uh, MC4 connectors and these are uh, quick quick fix without any soldering or crimping so I just have to cut the cable and uh, cut some uh, clean wire and then I just push it through here. Now I have done all the wiring finished for the solar panels. I don't connect these before I've uh, connected inside and there also will be putting up a security switch so I can turn these uh, solar panels off if I don't use them. Here I have the two wires from the solar panels and uh, here I put up this uh, security switch so I can turn the panels off if I'm going to do some internal wiring or something. And here we have the 12 volt uh, cable for the, the sun tracker system. Now I connected the solar panels to the security switch and uh, also into the inverter. In, in here there's also uh, security switch and fuse all together and uh, but now I'm going to connect the MC4 connections outside of the panel then I'm going to check the polarity and it also says you have to connect the battery first before you turn on the solar panel so that's what I'm going to do now and see if things work Yes, now we're going to see what we have. This is plus, minus. And we have uh, 100.6, 107 volts. And the polarity is correct. Okay, let's turn this on. Here we have the battery for the solar system. Yes, now we see that uh, we have both wind and solar and this is the voltage over the battery 
I'm gonna change this to this is windmill uh, 37 volts no amps and no kilowatts and this is solar it's 47.2 Yes, and it's charging with 8 amps and uh, approximately 300 watts. Okay, it's working. Fine. Now we're going to start up the sun tracker also. Yes, this is the power supply for the sun tracker system, and this is just a 12 DC transformer from 220, 220 AC. And uh, here I have to put on a uh, programmable switch because these uh, sun trackers, the, this programmable box outside, uh, is not that best quality. So I burned some of them in the beginning. Yes, uh, here you can see the control unit for the solar tracker. And uh, it's quite simple it's a 12 volt DC, and here they have the, for the actuators linear actuators. It's a uh, east-west motor and south-north. And uh, up in top you connect the photocell that uh, controls uh, where the sun is. And uh, the photocell is uh, just this one. It's a uh, small solar cells sitting here in fourth uh, directions. and. Uh, what they do is uh, they measure the voltage between these cells and then it adjusts itself until it gets uh, equal voltage from each of these cells and then you are aligned uh, directly to the sun. Yes, now I connected the, the soul tracker controller to this uh, in my box here, waterproofed. And now I'm gonna because I have this timer inside, I have to bypass that one so I can see if I can make this running. And here you can see that the actuators. This is for west, east, west, and this is for north and south. And they are pulling uh, 1500 newton. I can test run these actuators from my uh, small. They still work. Then uh, this one is broken because I can't get it moving with the uh, automatic. But fortunately, I have another one. I'm gonna replace this one to this one and then uh, make another test. the monocrystalline solar panels are in the right direction and uh, charging the batteries and also the windmill and the wind turbine is blowing today that's awesome yes uh, I have too many projects I think I'm gonna do a small uh, walkabout projects press the subscribe button and uh, follow me on the electric journey